for y'all today. This one's coming from Hidden Springs out of Tampa, Florida. Uh, this drum right here is called Darkness in the Light. Barrel aged stout with uh, cookies and cream, and it's 12% ABV. So I'm real interested to try this joint out. I'm going to assume it probably has lactose in it. Yes, it does. <laughs> it says it. So got to get myself mentally ready. Let's talk about this artwork, artwork right here. This joint has like a, a goat on here with um, three eyes, a whole bunch of crazy artwork going on. Like it just real interesting stuff going on in this on this bottle. Um, black and white dots on here kind of reminds you of looking at cookies and cream, ice cream. So it's going to be interesting. Now, I will say I'm not really a fan of cookies and cream stuff. Um, I used to be when I was younger, but not anymore. One thing I do appreciate about this bottle is it's not a wax top, so that joint just popped open with ease. So let's get into the joint. This is one of my beers from my birthday, so we pour a little bit, it looks good. So you got a beautiful, light, very light head on here, caramel tan looking on there, nice dissipation, not too much going on. So again, that might be a good sign. I don't know, we're about to find out. It is cold. I didn't let this get room temperature, but it's cool. I'll find out how it develops as it warms up. Okay, getting aromas right now. Nice barrel. Nice, uh, a smell of cookies like Oreos pretty much. Real strong in there. And I'm smelling hints of that lactose too. Well, we're going to get into it. Cheers. Hmm. Straight up cookies and cream, literally. Um, barrel up front with subtle cookies and cream, not subtle, overpowering Oreos up front, back end, and more sweet barrel on the back. Um, it has a sweet taste to it. it, has a little bit of bitterness in there. I like to know what hops they use because it says it's 20 IBUs. I like to know what hops they use because there's a lot of sweetness in here. It's perfectly balanced by the hops. And that barrel does a good, good job covering up some stuff too. Take another sip on that note. Mm. So let's see. This joint definitely is smooth. It's warming. It's... um nice as it cools down and it's getting chilly outside so first off let me let me say this stout season is all year round that's no specific season for me to drink stouts if you pay attention i drink high abv shit all year round no time frame i just like to drink certain things as it gets colder and stuff outside it puts me in the mood to be like that to drink these sort of beers but anyways i drink this stuff all year round so this one is perfect for me as far as uh, the time of season it is, it's late September pretty much, and this is warming up nicely. So this is going down good. Um, thoughts on this? Hmm. I haven't let it warm up, so I haven't fully gotten all the characters and characteristics out of it yet. But as of right now, I do like what I'm tasting. I'm going to get this joint a thumbs up. Definitely a thumbs up. It's not nothing like too crazy. It's just nice, very well put together bottle of beer, I should say. I'm not a fan of the lactose. Again, that's just me. I don't like lactose stuff. I prefer to have things that don't contain lactose. If you're going to brew a beer, you don't need to make the mouth feel with lactose. That's just me. So I like it. I highly recommend people to get it, um, especially since I gave it a thumbs up. That means it's definitely very good. Not like my top tier stuff, but it's definitely very good. Get your hands on this ASAP if, whenever they re-release it, because I guarantee they will. Darkness and the light. That's what's going on here. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, show some love. Leave some comments in the, uh, in the uh, feedback area as usual. Show some love as far as there. Cheers to everybody out there drinking good beer. Till the next time I see y'all, stay safe. Be healthy. Peace.